of registering on these different platforms. So for LinkedIn, we have 123 million over the last uh, 12 months, uh, sorry, 24 months or two years, okay? On Twitter, we've had 9 million, and on Facebook, one. Now, you could also interject here and go, hang on to me. There's billions of people on Facebook. But the opportunity here is LinkedIn is still growing. You could argue that Facebook is virtually reached saturation. Now, I'm not a Facebook expert, okay? But I have heard from many friends that I have in the Facebook space, and it's just turned into a great big pay play. People here know Facebook, is that a true statement? Yeah, okay. LinkedIn's still free. Their revenue comes from recruitment, not advertising. 64% of their revenue comes from recruitment. So it's not set up to do that. I don't know what the future holds, but at the moment, it's growing because that's what it is. It's such a huge, massive opportunity. So the number one biggest mistake right now on LinkedIn is not taking advantage of the opportunities to be visible. Okay? You go back to school and they say 65% of people are, are visual learners. Okay? So where are the two most important parts that you need to be visible? Well, one is your profile image. Now, I'm not going to go down the avenue of going, you know, go have a professional headshot, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure you've heard that a hundred times. Okay? But is it visible? There's four settings on your photo. Did you guys know that? There's four different settings. Okay? So, I want you to go into your, your app and find where the tiny little photo of you is in the top left hand side and click on that so you actually go to your profile. It says view profile. If you don't have your app, please um, share with the person next to you. Is everybody on LinkedIn in this room, by the way? This guy's got a face on camera. Maybe a couple of people are. Okay, there's some brave souls in the room. All right, you will be, go the end. <laughs> All right, so when you click on that, you actually tap on your face and it brings up some different settings. Now, one of them is your visibility. And if it doesn't say public, then you need to go in there and it should be like an eyeball. Is that right? Yep. So you click on that and change it over to public. Now what that does is, the noise if they're still here from Google, will tell you that your photo, I mean you've uploaded it anyway, you did want people to see it, right? <laughs> okay, so what that'll actually do is it'll get your photo indexed in Google for your name. And 21 times more visibility on LinkedIn with a photo. Now a lot of people have these rules about, I'm not connecting with anybody that doesn't have a photo. And the classic is when one of those people tells me that and their photo is not visible. It's happened a few times. Okay, so if you change that if, if you needed to? Yeah, yeah? Okay. Now the other area is this top section. So if you're looking at your own profile photo again, have you got like the blue sort of stars constellation map thing happening there? Yeah. Okay, who's actually uploaded some sort of image to that section? Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, all right. Does it advertise you or is it just like a nice cityscape of Harbour Bridge or something? <laughs> okay, so this is absolute prime real estate to get a message across, nice and visually. Now, if you can't put that together, there's people literally on Fiverr that can do it for five bucks and they're really good, most of them. Okay, it's so simple to do. You just give them a couple of images and they have these graphic designers from all over the world just come back with some really good stuff. All right? So this area should be changed a lot. You should change this and update this all the time because it's kind of like the sixth sense. When you watch the movie the first time, you sort of had one takeaway and then when you got the punchline, I'm hoping I'm not doing any spoilers here. It's an old movie, so. <laughs> right? But when you watch it the second time, you're like, that's a totally different movie because I've got, I've seen the light now. Right? Now, this is kind of the same thing, as in people presume you've changed other stuff. So they'll read again. And they may pick up something that they didn't pick up the first time. Okay, so who does like events or you've got a book or you, 
yeah, or podcast, I know you've got a podcast, um, you know, things like that, or you've got a big project, if you're product based, you've got a Christmas special on, you can do all this sort of stuff on this 